worry, folks. We will eventually be going to the Age of Balls. We will be going to the Age of Balls. Yeah. So many balls. For this game, I just remember, like, yeah, there's Nature Age, there's Ball Age, there's Energy Age. What the hell? Hmm. Huh. I feel like I got splashed with honey. So this is yellow. and those... So this is what dogs see. I don't see what we can do with this yet, though. Yeah, it, doesn't, it just appears that we can open this up and look through it. But it doesn't appear that it does anything other than be kind of a magnifier. I mean, we can look at the bowl. Yeah. Unfortunately, that doesn't do much. And it closed again. It's a sleepy tree. Can you imagine how much energy it must take for a plant to actually have moving parts? Speaking of moving parts... Huh. So that plant just folded in all of its petals. And we now there's it? light shining here. Oh, interesting. I was going to say, I thought that would be a climby uppy thing, but okay. Oh. So, we've got a magnifier that has the sun going through it now. Burn the tree! How are we not blind? Because we're on the wrong side of the magnifier for it. We're on okay. the side where the sun is coming through, not the side where it, not the uh, exit point. We're on the entry side of this. Time to find an ant's nest. I mean, well, well, let... <laughs> it's not quite an ant's nest, but that that ball down there, it has water in it. What I happens... want the water. Yeah, what happens when you uh, heat up water? It boils. And when it boils, it turns into gas and expands. Yeah. So, we have now fed that particular little uh, elevator. And just in case, you saw what happened with the elevator the first time we took it. It just kind of automatically shunts you uh, up or down. It's supposed to be us like running up and down it, but it's not Here's well the animated. other book. Here's the other yep. book. It's like snakes and ladders. So there's not much we can... There's not much else we can do up there. We've kind of done the purpose that little area has served us, and that's largely to teach us what we're doing. To teach us about tree lasers. Yep. And... Popping eyeballs, apparently. And popping, and popping water sacks, basically. Those are basically water sacks. Now, here is the elevator we came from. Mm -hmm. Which means that this elevator has just way. been fed. We've just watered this elevator, and now it can take us places. We're going places. Eee! Oh, God! We have just gone a very long way down. We are now in the we are now kind of in the deeper substrates of this tree. We're in Tarzan's treehouse. You do We're realize I just did that part of Kingdom Hearts last Saturday, right? <laughs> I wasn't any happier with it then. <laughs> but at least you got to beat up some more multiple times. Why? Why was that the recurring boss fight? 
I was gonna say, considering Sabor only shows up really twice in the movie? Yeah, he shows up exactly twice in the movie, and that's it. But this is what I mean when I say the world is very pretty to look at. It's a jungle in here, literally. Welcome to the jungle! We got fun and games. We got anything you want. We got a fish, apparently. Well, that's more of a electric stingray. Wait a minute. Why does it have a baboon butt? Photo cells. Okay. That's my guess, anyway. I don't actually know the answer. <laughs> I have no actual clue why they gave it a big red glowing butt, but the fact is, it, um... <laughs> Things you friggin' notice and don't notice, <laughs> But yeah, notice that when it wants to, it will reach over and zap things with electricity. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Or don't, because there's absolutely no way this guy's going to be important to anything we're doing around here, ever. No. I, I mean, there's that would make no sense whatsoever for him to be important. Okay, and this is back the way we came. I keep doing that for many reasons, because so navigating this part... Where's the path? It's dark, and a lot of things look samey. Also, where the hell is a path? Yeah. Nothing here looks like a path, does it? Just huh? back the way we came, but no, your path is up. Your path is on that rock that's hanging out in the middle of, in the, middle of the air. And you don't have landmarks. You really do not have landmarks. I would go back, but I see something. At least I think I see something. That is rock. That is rock. Ooh. Dang it. But I think you're close to where something is. Yeah. But yeah. There are multiple paths around here. And I have trouble finding about 90% of them. Yeah, this age is really hard to navigate. And that's not the only problem I have with this age. Yeah. The main puzzle of this age, you're not going to see coming. But when you see it coming, you'll go, why the hell did they pick that? Anyway. Why did that work? Why did that... <laughs> see, I mean, I can, I can tell you the in-game mechanics reasons why it all works. It's because nature encourages mutual dependence. That, and I'm pretty sure Atrus is just an asshole. I mean, we figured that out back in Miss 2. So now we've when... got a lot of ground to cover, and it's not all, and it's going to be very, very, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Complicated? Amy? <coughs> hmm. So... Be, be prepared to just get lost from time to time. Oh, That's hello. what I was looking for. I have desecrated the poem he placed in the columns. What poems? I could no longer stand to see Narayan's artistry in his world. I think I can do something with Sap to cover the second one. But I'm not sure what to do about the island. I don't know how to alter the current. Interesting. Perhaps if I bring in some of the unusual floating stone from Almateria? Something about the molecular composition of the rock in that age causes it to attract and repel other stone quite forcefully. Maybe if I introduce some of it to the soil on the island, it will interfere just enough to damage the last poem. I'll have to conduct some experiments. This looks like the t zappy tube he was working with. Yeah, just a little bit, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, you look back here, this is like the thing that had the swirling leaves in it. Yep. Okay, and yeah, we this saw is, that one. this is more stuff we've already seen. 
So whenever you click pages, it will always bring you to the first new page. Yeah. Which is good, because sometimes you will forget what you've already read. Huh. Who the devil are you? Oh no, it's gonna puke! What the? Hey. You drank Ian. You drank our friend. You drank Ian. No one's gonna get that fucking <laughs> reverence. You, you drank, drank our, our friend. You drank our baboon butted stingray. <laughs> Baboon butted stingray. That is a sentence I have heard. <laughs> I I know when I got up this morning. I, I was I was mentally prepared for many things. The phrase baboon butted stingray. <laughs> Not one of them. <laughs> That sounded like something suffered in indignity. Kevin? It, it okay. did kind of, didn't it? Although, it didn't point me in the direction of the indignity. It just kind of put sound cues up, and I have no idea where to go to find it at the moment. I mean, I know where to go, but just as a new player, where the hell is that sound? That rock looks kind of like a gorilla. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Also notice we've got more of these. Are we going to find more squeeze? We are. Ooh. But these don't need to be expanded because, well, they're already... They're not the central point of that bridge. I will say, like... I know how Savidro messed with the other two ages to make them harder. I genuinely am not entirely sure what he did to this one. He broke a few of the reflector plants. Oh, that that's right. Yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. Yeah, okay. As far as ways to mess up the age go, that's kind of light compared to what he did to some of the other ones. Yeah, but it's enough to make it a real freaking pain. Yep. Especially, he, I think he looked at this world and goes, you know, it's hard enough to get around in here as is. I don't think I have to do much. Like I said, it's pretty in here. Ooh. What the devil are you? It's like an egg. <laughs> Blech. So, light. Turn light off. Plant curls up. Nighttime, daytime! It's amazing that this plant has just bioluminescent bulb, which specific leaves around here react to. Yep. That, that sure is a hell of a thing. Oh, look, there's another egg. That that should be the same one we just activated. Ah, yeah. okay, the one that ate the baboon butt of You will see why I say that soon enough. You, the devil are you. We need Looks like to a mousetrap over we there. We need to get over there. We are can't we yet, but we will eventually need to get over there and do a thing. Looks like we're playing mousetrap over there. <laughs> You're not far off, actually. <laughs> we're, but, but we like the squee. Yeah, we're not far off from it. Everything. I'm having flashbacks to Mario RPG now. So let's see. E? I was gonna say, Are looks you like not actually going to do the thing I want you to do? No? I think it just automatically does the targeting thing. Oh, yeah, okay. Can... So, makes sense. this is a swing with footholds. It, it's a good thing the tree evolved this for people yeah. to get around. So now, 
Let's swing across. Uh, um... Or get stuck. Oh. Wow, it's a good thing we come back perfectly and don't get stuck dangling down there. Yeah. Huh. So this thing there right goes here. Our <laughs> there goes There we are, Splanch, yes. So this thing right here is in the way of us being able to swing over to the other side, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, as we see, it's got the little bubbles on it. Yeah. So how are we going to deal with that? But, but you all are starting to see my basic problem with this age, right? It's not very splash friendly. I mean, you're not wrong. True. Funny, this little lever thing right here looks like it's connected to something over there. Mm. Hold the crank, one hell of a yank. Mouse trap. Unfortunately, it's it's not active right now. So I think everybody is going to see my problems with this world. I've already was mentioned that, it. Besides the fact that it reminds you of Deep Jungle? Well, there is that. But it's the fact that, much like Deep Jungle, find your way around in that vine section. I dare mm. you. I use a, I use a strategy guide for that. <laughs> okay. So you notice... I went off this bridge into a different area. Yes. What the game considers paths and what the game does not consider paths? Good luck figuring it out. So there's, there's our friend. Yep. Are we gonna have to pop it? No. We don't have a way to pop it anyway. Ah. Uh, Notice that if we popped it, all the water would just kind of spill out everywhere. Yeah. Leaving our poor friend stranded. We don't want to do that. He's friend shaped. <laughs> Maybe his baboon butt actually stores water in him. Yeah, it'd be nice. But you notice this looks like a path. It right does. Here. It's not. Boo. Yeah. Yeah, this is my least favorite age in the game, which is weird because, like, forests are usually lantern happy time. Star can confirm. Yes. It's all just a matter of navigating this forest is a very confusing thing. Much this, like this navigating is, a real forest. This is not fun to navigate. And I get I get turned around in places fairly easily as it is in games like this. I think if you go back to the swing, you can actually swing over to the mouse trap. Of course, that would necessitate us remembering where the freaking hell the swing was, but hey. I mean, I know it's further down this way because this is where we came in. Mm -hmm.